Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to give a little follow up to the last vlog style video I made where I was talking about like the truth about houseplants. So I think that that video kind of came across negative and I didn't really give any solutions to like if you're dealing with pests and just like problems with your plants. But the reason I did that is because I am starting a new series on this channel. It's like the pest playlist. So I'm going to go through each bug in each video and tell you how I deal with different pests, like what products I use, what I've tried, what hasn't worked for me. So if you go under that playlist right now, I have a gnat video about um, fungus gnats. And I, for the next video, it's either going to be about thrips or mealybug. Those are two pests that I currently am dealing with. And I found a really good product from Home Depot, and I'll link it down below in case you're in interested. This product is great for killing thrips. It's actually a natural bacteria, and basically when the thrip either eats part of the leaf or if it's contacted with the spray, it will naturally kill the thrip. And um, on my video of thrips, I'll make sure that I include like photos of them so you know what to look for, but... I have no, not noticed them on the leaves. That's why they were kind of hidden. So the way I saw thrips are when I would take my pot off of the saucer, they would be crawling around on the saucer. So I knew that there must be thrips in the soil. So that is why I'm treating basically all of my plants because these little bugs, they crawl everywhere and they can move fast. So I've noticed them on pretty much all of my plants. So this is gonna be quite an endeavor. Um, it's probably going to take about two to three applications of the spray that I'm using in order to completely kill all of them. And also, I also want to mention this. In my last video, I mentioned using insecticides. Now, I in every part of my life, I'm very natural. I try to avoid chemicals. And when it comes to my plants, the first thing I always choose is organic, like neem oil, um, soaps, like horticultural soaps. This spray that I just mentioned before, um, and I forget the name of it, but I'll insert the link below. That's also a natural product. It's organic. But I think if the infestation is just really bad, like uh, pretty much all my plants had something crawling on it, I think at that point it is fair to have to use stronger products. So what I choose to use is um, a systemic granule, and it basically gets into the plant. And when the bug bites down on the leaf, it will basically just poison the bug and it will die. But you have to keep in mind, if you do choose to use this kind of granule that you sprinkle on the soil, you have to really use it with caution. So if you have young kids or if you have animals that are really curious about your plants and get into them, I would not recommend using this. The only reason why I feel comfortable using these products is because all of my plants are off of the ground and my dogs show no interest besides that but it's not at their level. So they would have to try really hard to get to my plant if they were to get in the soil. So I do feel comfortable using these products since they're up high and my dogs don't get into them. But you have to be so cautious because that could essentially poison your animal if they got into the soil and ate it. So, and also the leaves, if it got a leaf that fell or whatever. So it is risky using these products. You have to be very cautious and responsible. I wouldn't just use them just because it's the fast way to do it. It's also really important to try to prevent any infestations. So quarantining your plants before you bring them to your other to the rest of your collection and introducing your new plant to the, the older ones because that new plant could have something on it that could spread to all the others. And I have to admit, like in the past, I haven't always done that. And that could be why I ran into this problem because I would also, like I wouldn't really look at the roots um, you should definitely take a look at the roots, see if there's any root mealy bug, if there's anything crawling in the roots when you're repotting. I would just kind of think, oh, I got this plant from a reputable store like Logies or wherever and just assume that it'd be pest free. But no matter where you buy your plant, you can't just assume it has no pests because it could and you don't want it to spread. But yeah, I hope you guys are excited to see my new series um, about pests and how I control them. Um, I get a lot of questions about how I um, control pests on my plants, so this will really give you a great resource to have. It'll all be in one place, so I hope you're looking forward to me starting that series. And also, I am doing my houseplant tour series recently, 
I did my eastern exposed windows and I am doing northern, southern, uh, western, and then my shelf plants. They'll each have their own video and I figured that would make it easier to watch. And for me, it's really tiring to go through every single plant and talk about it. I kind of feel rushed if I do the whole house all at once. So I think this is a better idea. And it also gives you guys a better reference because if I'm only focusing on like northern windows and that's all you have, then you can just click on that video if that's more helpful than watching all the different areas in my house where there are plants. But anyway, guys, that's all I have to share with you for today. If you have any comments, be sure to leave them down below and make sure to follow me on my Instagram. I do more like everyday updates on there. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.